Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for listening and watching to The Value of Truth. I am Brian Price, and I hope you're having a wonderful weekend this January 10th. And remember that tomorrow is Sunday, so be sure to go to church tomorrow. It'll greatly enrich your life. You'll hear from God. You'll hear His voice, and He'll tell you exactly what you should do in whatever situation you're in. So just remember to go to church That's a way to hear from God. Another way to hear from God is to read the scriptures. And lastly, another way to hear from God is to just simply wait for an answer. God is going to give you an answer somehow, whether it be from heaven or whether it be on earth or whether it be a sign or just no answer whatsoever. So sometimes no answer is an answer. If we're asking God for something that we should not ask him for and he doesn't give us an answer, then perhaps that's a good sign that What we're asking for him to do is not a very good one. Perhaps we're tempting him uh, to do something that he doesn't really need to do. So uh, anyway, that being said, let's go ahead and get right into it. So this weekend I was talking to some close friends of mine. They were telling me about a recent incident where they went and spoke with a spiritist, a medium, a necromancer, a witch, whatever you want to call them. Um, but they spoke with them and apparently they were able to communicate with a departed loved one. Now I am skeptical of certain stories when I hear about that. And I'll tell you why, because not every person out there who says they're a medium is really in touch with the spiritual world. Uh, there are people out there who are very intelligent, who use, uh, psychology, to trick people to give them their money. So uh, they'll ask them very generic questions to where people would say, well, yeah, I definitely uh, am convinced that this question is legitimately from a deceased person that I know. And in reality, this spiritist or so-called medium is really just asking a generic question. So not every person is a medium, a spiritist, a necromancer, But at the same time, not every person is a scam artist either. There are people who do communicate with the dead. And we can see that from Scripture. There are instances in Scripture, and I'm going to read you some. And that's from 1 Samuel chapter 28. Uh, For instance, the witch at Endor, in which uh, King Saul went to inquire at a witch at the to bring up Samuel, a departed, a deceased prophet. And so we do see from Scripture that there are people who do communicate with the spiritual world. It does happen. But the real question is, should we communicate with the dead? Should we go to psychics and mediums and spiritists and try to communicate with our departed loved ones? The answer is no, and I'm going to show you why. It's in Deuteronomy chapter number 18. <clears throat> Deuteronomy chapter number 18 and verse 9. It says, When thou art come into the land which the Lord thy God giveth thee, thou shalt not learn to do after the abominations of those nations. There shall not be found among you any one that maketh his son or his daughter to pass through the fire, or that useth divination, or an observer of times, or an enchanter, or a witch, or a charmer, or a consulter with familiar spirits, or a wizard, or a necromancer. For all that do these things are an abomination unto the Lord. And because of these abominations, the Lord thy God doth drive them out from before thee. Thou shalt be perfect with the Lord thy God. For these nations which thou shalt... Pro, excuse me, for these nations which thou shalt possess, hearkened unto observers of times and unto diviners. But as for thee, the Lord thy God hath not suffered thee to do so. So we read here in Scripture that God calls uh, people who practice uh, necromancy, uh, wizardry, uh, witchcraft, and such sorcery. He calls these things abominations. And so, and even the people that do these things are abominable in the eyes of God. So to answer that question, should should we or can we go uh, inquire of these people that do these things? The answer is an emphatic no, we should not do these things. Now, the next question is, do, do people really communicate with the dead or are all of them scam artists? We'll read in 1 Samuel chapter number 28. And I'm going to argue with 
the answer that no, not everybody is a scam artist. There are people out there who do, in fact, communicate with the dead. Um, let's see here. In verse... Verse 7, it says, Then Saul said unto his servant, Seek me a woman that hath a familiar spirit, that I may go to her and inquire of her. And his servant said to him, Behold, there is a woman that hath a familiar spirit at Endor. And Saul disguised himself and put on other raiment, and he went and two men with him, and they came to the woman by night, and he said, I pray thee, divine unto me by the familiar spirit, and bring me him up whom I shall name unto thee. And the woman said unto him, Behold, thou knowest what Saul hath done, how he hath cut off those that have familiar spirits and the wizards out of the land. Wherefore then layest thou a snare for my life, to cause me to die? And Saul swore to her by the Lord, saying, As the Lord liveth, there shall no punishment happen to thee for this thing. Then said the woman, But whom shall I bring up unto thee? And he said, Bring me up Samuel. And when the woman saw Samuel, she cried with a loud voice, and the woman spake to Saul, saying, Why hast thou deceived me? For thou art Saul. And the king said unto her, Be not afraid, for what sawest thou? And the woman said unto Saul, I saw gods ascending out of the earth. And he said unto her, What form is he of? And she said, An old man cometh up, and he is covered with a mantle. And Saul perceived that it was Samuel. And he stooped with his face to the ground and bowed himself. And Samuel said to Saul, Why hast thou disquieted me to bring me up? And Saul answered, I am sore distressed, for the Philistines make war against me, and God has departed from me. And answer with me no more, neither by prophets nor by dreams. Therefore I have called thee, that thou mayest make known unto me what I shall do. Then said Samuel, Wherefore then dost thou ask of me, seeing the Lord has departed from thee, and has become thine enemy? And the Lord hath done to him as he spake by me. For the Lord hath rent the kingdom out of thine hand, and given it to thy neighbor, even to David. Because thou obeyest not the voice of the Lord, nor executest his fierce wrath upon Amalek, therefore hath the Lord done this thing unto thee this day. Moreover, the Lord will also deliver Israel with thee into the hand of the Philistines, and tomorrow shalt thou and thy sons be with me. The Lord also shall deliver the host of Israel into the hand of the Philistines. So we read here the dialogue between King Saul and the prophet Samuel, who was dead at this point. And to me, it's very interesting that such a case could happen where uh, Saul went to a, a woman at Endor who had a familiar spirit, and he said, bring me up Samuel, very plainly, just bring me up Samuel. And she did. And it says, when the woman saw Samuel, she cried with a loud voice. So the Bible says that she saw Samuel indeed, and that Saul communicated with Samuel. And Samuel had a lot to say. He said, you know what? I'm pretty much telling you what I already told you before, that God's going to uh, execute his fierce wrath upon you because you didn't obey him. And he said, and tomorrow shalt thou and thy sons be with me. So he was foretelling his death as well. So a very interesting uh, story. And you, you can actually see some interesting details that even uh, Samuel retained his original old man form in which uh, he, he didn't revert back to being um, a young man when he died. He retained his image as an old man. In verse 14, and it says that he was covered with a mantle, so he was clothed. So some very interesting details the Bible gives us here. Uh, you would think that when you die, that you perhaps go to the ideal age and appearance, but that, such is not the case, at least in, not in this story. It says that she said, an old man cometh up. So, And when Samuel died, he, we know that he was an old man. But um, this is just sort of proof to show you that the Bible does tell us that, yes, indeed, these things happen. Yes, indeed, people do communicate with the dead. And somehow they were able to communicate, in this case, an Old Testament saint, strangely enough. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, that that's pretty much all I wanted to point out to you right now. Um, I really don't have much more than that other than just beware. Beware of, you know, you really don't want to do this. In fact, this was part of the reason why God punished King Saul was because he went to this witch at Endor. And you can read that in the following chapters. So uh, really just be cautious that uh, it's you shouldn't always be skeptical, but you shouldn't always believe everything either. So thanks for listening to The Value of Truth. God bless you. I hope this kind of enlightened you a little bit. Thanks for listening. I'm Brian Price.